Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and it seems like, are there no, I was going to say, are there no sacred cows, but maybe that's a bad thing to say, because, well, Hillary has been thrown under the bus by Obama, and, well, let's just say, Bill is not taking it lightly, because he's brought out, okay, Bill's brought out his brigade, <laughs> his brigade of press, because, well, the press do still like Bill, okay, so we'll see, this will be an interesting showdown. For now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And, okay, you got to tell us more about Bill and Hillary. Oh, wait a minute. Hillary and Obama. Okay, what it is is uh, basically Hillary's campaign for the presidency is totally and absolutely ended now because Obama is, try is basically uh, linking everything to Hillary as being responsible for the deaths of those people, for not doing anything, for... Uh, for stonewalling, which she had absolutely nothing to do because she was, Hillary has the, hasn't the authority to order military personnel to stand down. Only the chiefest, uh, uh, only the, the head of the military, and that happens to be the President of the United States, has the authority to order a military unit that is preparing to go do a rescue mission not to go. Mm -hmm. General, the general on the field doesn't have the authority. The uh, general above him doesn't have the authority. The head of that, the chief of staff does not have the authority. Only the president has the authority to send military personnel into the battle. So, and so Bill Clinton didn't really. Okay, if you look closely, everyone that spent two and a half hours going after Carney yesterday were all supporters of Bill Clinton. Friends of Bill Clinton, supporters of Bill Clinton, people that support Hillary Clinton. And, um, Bill still has lots of friends. Oh, he's got lots of friends because what, what it amounted to... And they, actually people still like Bill. Because what they don't like Hillary. No one's ever liked Hillary. But, the, but they I, like Bill. The idea was if you elect Hillary, you get Bill Clinton as actual president of the United States. And that was the whole purpose. But Hillary, um, because what did Hillary... Hillary made a mistake and that mistake will finish her off forever. I mean, you know, what does it matter now? Get over it. What? That's what she said about the people... But about the Benghazi thing. What does it matter? Oh, I'll get really? over it. Yeah. And that basically that will be forever. The that, words that. that she said will forever barrier because I mean, oh. they're using that against um, people that yeah. support the Democratic Party that basically, you know, like, well, you know, like the extermination camps in Israel. What does it matter now? You know, it all it matters it, to it the, matters to the people that it's important to. Yeah, and that basically that basically Hillary showed the indifference that she's known for. That's probably what she actually felt. When well, Bill well Clinton, yeah, that probably <clears throat> was genuine, which is probably. <laughs> when, and she basically said it. It was not on the script, but that is basically buried the entire Democratic Party because that will be the campaign. Uh, our words of that they've already running the commercials now. You, you know, Hillary's words, uh, Democratic Party. Okay. The, it's so it's, it's so bad at the moment that the Democrats are now uh, trying to get trying to do anything they can to get people's attention off of that. So they're now willing to sacrifice Obama's Internal Revenue Service, of which is hiring sixteen thousand people for the health care program that doesn't actually exist. Uh, and going, you know, the, the the top senators, top congressmen are wanting a criminal investigation of the Internal Revenue Service, which means it's dead just to take it off of uh, what Obama has done. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, the, if you listen to the press, it's still, well, it's nothing but a witch hunt. Uh, ben, and Carney said, this is nothing but a political witch hunt out to get the first black president in our nation's history. No. And, and most of the, the, those were Democrats yesterday going after the President of the United States. And, uh, Obama has basically had one law, horrible loss after another, and he's now depending upon health care to get him through, of which does not exist anymore. And the instant, he first, uh, the instant the first tax is put on anybody and they have to pay it, it goes back to the Supreme Court because the lower court has already ruled, the uh, lower appeals court has already ruled, and the Supreme Court has already said that uh, uh, here's a very specific thing. All taxes must originate in the House of Representatives. It originated in the Senate, which meant the tax that they're using for the Internal Revenue Service to gather for the health care is totally and absolutely unconstitutional. What? And, and Roberts always knew it. Roberts said, you had to listen to what Roberts said. Roberts said the Congress of the United States has the power to levy taxes, and you can, the Supreme Court has no authority to interfere in that until someone is hurt. 
you have to have somebody pay the, uh, order to pay an unconstitutional tax first, and then it goes back and it's heading back to there again. So, and it will be tossed out this time. Wait a minute. All of Obamacare? The Obamacare is funded by an illegal taxation. Which means, because see, the, the idea was always that, well, you can always have the taxes, right? You don't have to have the health care, but they can levy taxes. Mm -hmm. But if it's an illegal tax, then they can get rid of it all because of that. There's no way of funding it. And the, oh, uh, the Democrats are demanding. Harry Reid said it's a train wreck. Uh, oh, Harry Reid is now agreeing it's a train wreck, and they have to get the Republicans to fund it. And it's never going to happen. They, oh my gosh, what a disaster, because so many changes have been made because of Obamacare, yeah. and it's an illegal tax which they can get repealed. It can be, it, 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 the Supreme Court will throw it out and they'll have to refund all tax revenue. Basically, you're going to get a bigger tax return when the Supreme Court does it, because the, the, uh, the law that is very is specific. Major. Well, hell, he, that's why he didn't want it to be a tax, but the Supreme Court made it a tax. And when he made it a tax, he's still trying to deny it's a tax, but the Supreme Court said it was a tax. And it is now an illegal tax because the lower courts are going to rule in favor of the Constitution every direction. Because the law is very specific. All taxes, all expenditures of money or revenue must originate in the House of House Representatives. And Nancy Pelosi did not originate it there. Harry Reid oh, originated in the Senate and went from the Senate to the House and she rubber stamped it. Which, is it, which the wrong made it and made it. Uh, well, illegal. you know, here's part of it. it went back to when they were debating whether it was a tax or not. Yeah, this And they called it a tax because they figured then they could keep the tax in place. Yeah. And no matter what happened. But because Obama's oh people uh, basically That's knew huge. that it was an illegal tax. No, this is not a tax. This is a fee. Well, no. That's fee. why they were going back and forth on it because mm -hmm. they realized. That's why even the Democrats in the in the Supreme Court ruled. They said that there was the most incompetent. Uh, 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 the, but the people that argued Obama's case were the most incompetent people there. But Roberts was the deciding vote. Roberts just Robert gave the vote because they said Robert uh, was obviously not as stupid as they thought because he knew it was not legal. He always knew it was not oh legal. That's why the Democrats. Why Do you Obama think about didn't want all these it? changes that they've been doing for well, the, the changes last. Well, the changes are never going to go into place. I mean, oh like God. Obama basically, okay, in the things that nobody read, uh, you theoretically got to keep your kids on your insurance policy for as long as your kid wants to stay on the insurance policy by Obamacare. There's no cutoff date under the fine print. The parents are not happy with that. The, they said they're already. Employers are cutting back on hours and, and, and personnel now in order to keep under the limits that they, you know, so they pay a thousand dollar fee and they no longer have to pay for health care. And Obama has no means now of financing now the national health care system because the, the Republicans will never allow him to have the money he needs to finance it. So it's, it's a dead program that is now, like it's, it's sort of asinine, that it's going round and around because it's a political thing for the next election and the Democrats. Every Democrat out there in a special election has ran away from Obamacare like it was a plague. And White House has nothing to do with it lies over Benghazi or IRS targeting conservatives for audits or threats to whistleblowers. That's what they're saying and nobody including a Democrat. Okay, the, they, they, like they said, the, they, they, they're all saying the, the, whistle, the, the people whistleblowers have been punished for doing it. It came from the White House. The uh, Internal Revenue Service, basically, they inadvertently, three low-level personnel in, in a facility in Ohio decided to do this all on their own, which, they, uh, which they're not taking, the, they're not going to take the fall for Obama, and they're already saying that we were given the orders from people above us, and the people above us means the White House. The Benghazi thing, there's, uh, basically, they have, the, I mean, yeah. with the communications in front of Carney, they're showing it, they had to print it out one thing to show him, well, this was just simply done for stylistic reasons. Well, no, the, uh, they send them, okay, now we know why Petrakis is gone, folks, because Petrakis, in a private hearing in front of the Congress, basically said that uh, he said from, from the minute it happened, he told the President of the United States it was a terrorist attack. Mm -hmm. And the next day, when he went public, he said that we haven't ascertained whether or not 
this is a terrorist operation or not. He said he changed his thing, uh, and then two days later, like two days later, he was out as the head of the CIA with that Paula Pounce, whatever her name was, thing. So isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah. I know, we got off on, this is almost like an editorial. I know, it's sort of, we do this on Sunday, so. <laughs> I know. Anyway, and a Monty, Monty Bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay, this one. Uh, that you can you can only lie so many times and finally they eventually catch up to you. <laughs> yeah, so.